Okay, let's see a solution of test uh, 23. Okay. The question is, what is the magnetic field produced by a current I passing through a Y at point O? Okay, at this point, O as shown in the figure. Uh, we have choice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this is one of the choice one, two, four, or none of both. Okay. To answer this, we can use the Biot-Savart uh, law B equal to is the integral of mu zero i over four pi of time d s cross r uh, unit vector r over r square, and do the integral over along the y, and we can calculate this by divide the y into three parts. Part one is a state y, the very long state y here. Part two is a very long state y here. And part t, part three, is, is a curved state y, which is a part of a circle here. Uh, we can do this because we can see that on part 1 and part 2, the y line along the radial direction from the point O. It means that if you start from point O and you go in the radial direction, it will be uh, along the y on part 1 and part 2. And when we do the integral here in the Biot-Savart law, ds is the length vector of the y. So, uh, and it points in the direction of, of i, so it means that when if we draw the ds in part 1, this is the ds in part 1, and this is the ds in part 2. And you can see that ds in part 1 and ds in part 2 are along the radial direction, along the radial direction. This unit vector dr is a unit vector d uh, is a unit vector that point from the ds to the point that we want to calculate the uh, magnetic field. So in this case, we can see that dr in part one. Oh, sorry, not dr. R, the unit vector r, point in this direction, and r here point in this direction. Okay. So, in both parts, uh, in the first part, the part 1, ds point in the same direction of r, and part 2, ds point in the opposite direction of r. But on both parts, ds and r, part, ds parallel to r, okay, just point in the same direction here and point in the opposite direction here, but they are parallel. And if two vector parallel, the cross product of those two vectors equal to zero. Okay, we discussed this before. So we have that in the part one and part two of the y, ds cross r is zero. So it means that the integral, this integral from the bio savas law on this part and this part will be zero. So we don't have to calculate the uh, magnetic field from the current here and here. Okay, because it's zero. What we have to do is calculate the current that from the y in this green part or the part t. Okay, and uh, on the part three, no, no. Um, okay, I, this is wrong. This is part. Uh, part one and part two. And this is part three. So this is part three, okay? And on part three, you can see that the D is point along the Y. This is D S. Okay? And this D S is perpendicular to the unit vector R. The unit vector R point from ds to O, and this is the radial direction. ds is a, 
on the tangential direction because the y here is a uh, no, the ds is along the tangential direction and because the y is a part of circle, this tangential direction is perpendicular to the radial direction. So, in the part 3, ds perpendicular to r. And when two vectors are perpendicular, the cross product of those two vectors is equal to the product of, the, of each vector. And in this case, the, the uh, the product of the magnitude of each vector and in this case the magnitude of the ve unit vector r is 1 because this is a unit vector so the magnitude of this cross product is ds right and the direction you can use the right hand loop by point your forefinger in the direction of ds and the uh, unit vector r point off of your palm you can see that the S cross R in this region will point into the plane. Right? So we can write that this cross product is equal to the DS, the magnitude of this vector, and with the direction point into the plane. Okay. And uh, the Biosawas, this integral is become uh, this DS cross R. Uh, that we do the integral only on the part R, uh, part three of the of the y, and this ds cross r is ds with the direction point into the plane. So we what we have to do is calculate the magnitude of this vector p. We know the uh, direction, so this term is the magnitude. So what we have to do is integral this term and do integral this term mu 0 i 4 pi and also r is a constant because the y in this part is a part of the circle which means that the distance from ds to uh, o which is the r is a constant and is equal to a so we have that this term and also r is a constant we can take this out of the integral to get this, and we can replace this r by a. Okay. This integral ds is nothing more than the length of the y in the in this part, part three. Okay, and the length of a circle that has the angle. If you draw the radial line from its center o and the, the angle here is theta. You can see that the length here is, is equal to theta a, where theta is in radian. Okay. Theta must be in radian in, in degree. We cannot use this formula if theta is in degree. So if this theta is in radian, we know that the length here is equal to theta a. a is the radius of this circle. So the integral ds here is equal to theta a. And then we can see that this a and this a, this a cancel the square of this a. So we have the final answer is mu 0 i theta over 4 pi a, which is mu 0, mu, mu zero i theta over 4 pi a, which is uh, uh, answer number two.